I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Nature. You're in my way. Tour. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, January 16th. Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review. There's another Patreon request for Trevin on this time on the 2004 film Torque. Again, if you're ever interested in sending requests via PayPal directly or by joining my Patreon and your requests, reviews, re-reviews, movie topics, or any other type of topics or any other type of video, feel free. The links to both PayPal and Patreon is down below in the info box. And I know what you're thinking. Why is this not a rant? I saw this film back in the day and went, um, I saw it now and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> because really what this is, I know the director later said this, but then you're thinking, okay, are you saying it because a lot of people make fun of it now and you're just saying it to save face? Or is that your real intention? Where he said, well, I wanted to take the piss out of Fast and Furious. I wanted to do a piss take. Like really take the piss out of Fast and Furious. And I went, okay, again, are you saying this now that people made fun of it? Or was that your, really your intention? Is that why you, you directed music videos? Is that like you're some glorious director with a huge merit of fitness to make us believe that type of stuff? On the flip side, I watched the film again and I go, this is a parody. This is meant to be a parody of Fast and Furious. This is what Fast and Furious became. You watch this, you watch Furious 7, this movie is making fun of what Fast and Furious would become. And this is coming from a guy, I like some of the Fast and Furious movies. My favorites would be 5, 6, 2... As silly as it is, part eight. But this, it's funny. Like This movie is intentionally taking the piss out of Fast and Furious. And I, if you see it in the vein of a Fast and Furious parody, it's pretty damn entertaining. It's fast paced. It's a lot of action. Yeah, there's some wanty CG, but there's a lot of good practical stuff. And there's so many moments that are obviously being a piss take on it that I'm like, I think the guy's telling the truth. Now, maybe you still don't think it's funny or entertaining, but this movie, in a way, is making fun of Fast and the Furious. There's even a moment where one of the characters goes, I live my life a quarter at a mile. And another character goes, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, it's colorful. It's spacked. It is spastic in his action and his visuals i mean even the beginning of the film the guy rides a motorcycle he's talking to the people yeah you guys with your cars you know, why do people in cars they they drive cars and they just become assholes <laughs> it, this is like someone who saw fast and furious and said someone needs to kind of make fun of this 
I mean, you even got Matt Schultz, who's in Fast and Furious, as the villain in this. You got all the, the crazy stuff, like, there's a moment where you have two girls on motorcycles, one's a Pepsi, one's a Mountain Dew, and they're literally fighting each other with motorcycles. And actually some pretty decent practical effects. Is that a cartoon CG effect? But they're literally, this is what they're doing with the cars. They're like, I mean, uh, the motorcycles, the two girls, like. <laughs> fucking hell, man. I, uh, there's, there's stuff like get on a train and then drive it into it and driving through the inside of the train. And there's. There's this one shot where you have this cop that's totally goofball, doofus type of cop. This seems like a movie that also wants to kind of make fun of Michael Bay films. Like, there's a lot of moments that seem to be out of a Michael Bay movie, but it does seem as if it's kind of trying to make fun of that. Like, explosion happens and people fly out in slow motion. And I know people say, well, you're giving the movie too much credit. I don't know, it's like, how many stuff doesn't need to do for it to be labeled as a parody there's even a moment where we see the the cop he puts his tea in and the tea is gigantic like for that shot they got like a gigantic fucking tea to do this so that it goes into the thing this is this <laughs> like the either this guy Okay, this director is one of two things. He's either a complete moron and he made a fun, bad movie. Or this guy's a little bit smarter than I give him credit. And it made a bit more of a clever parody movie. It's one or the other. And either way, it, I was surprised how much I had fun watching this again. Uh, this, this is one of those films that, uh, again, it, I was... I wouldn't say it's fantastic. The lead guy does fine, but I think if you would have had someone, Keanu Reeves as a lead, if you had someone like that, a Keanu Reeves or Thomas Jane or Carl Urban or Gerard Butler or I'm trying to think, I mean, maybe something akin to Vin Diesel. I think you would have had something even more <laughs> with this. I'm trying to think what other actors you could have gotten. It's 2004. Again, the lead guy does okay. I would say he's one of the... He does fine, but he's not great. He's not too wonderful. I, I would say he's one of the weaker parts. Funny enough, one of his buddies is... What was his name? He plays the new Madden P.I. He was in Hostel. Why can I not remember his name? Eddie, he was in Hostel. He was in Quarantine. The, the movie Quarantine. I cannot believe I... Cannot remember his damn name. I'm looking it up. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. What the hell was his name? Damn it. Anyway, I'm sure you just, oh well. I'm, I'll, find, I'll look it up. It's going to bug me. I know. I know. I know. I should have done this before. I know. Shame on me. People like, they already know the names. Oh, this is shit. I know, but I'm going to do it anyway because that's just me. But probably by the time I fucking get to this, I'm going to think of the name. I know I'm wasting time. Of course, I type torque, so it's not going to get me to the movie. It's going to get me to the dictionary. He a fuck about the dictionary. Well, that's not true. Just get to the fucking film, man. God damn. Well, this was a quote from the director. I want to do with Fast and Furious movies... Kind of what Evil Dead did, did 
Evil Dead 2 did with horror films. Do a piss tape version. These are stupid ass movies. What if I made a movie that was really fucking stupid? I mean, he was, he, he accomplished it. Jay Hernandez. Yeah, I know that was worth it, right? I know the movie did not do well at all. I mean, I even wrote someone on Facebook about it. You know, you have a little fist fight type of scenes where motorcycles shot with a guy puts a T into the engine and it's a ridiculous large T. I think uh, if you're making a parody of Fast and Furious, this is kind of the way to do it. Because you're not making a parody la, a la Meet the Spartans. You're taking it serious enough but at the same time, there's such goofy stuff that it just, I don't know, became funny to me. Uh, for example, you have all these faces turn and then see our leads go by. Like four or five people, one turns in second and third and fourth and fifth. Or they do this thing with the shotgun. Like they keep giving each other shotguns in different ways. Like they get the shotgun and give to this person, the woman holds it up and then someone grabs it while riding the motorcycle. Uh, you get some slow-mo action explosion like it was a Michael Bay. Dane Cook has an appearance as a tourist who gets his ass kicked by Matt Schultz. You do get some really decent motorcycle stunt work. Yeah, there's a couple bad CG moments, but a lot of it's practical. And they're having chase scenes in this like forest of palm trees. <laughs> it looks like a fucking forest of palm trees. And even, I mean, the, the plot, Matt Schultz kills Ice Tube's brother. They even mentioned Ice Tube was in this. Kills Ice Tube's brother. The lead guy's framed for it. So lead guy is going to get the chain of the bike. Because apparently that's like a fingerprint. I'm like, is that true? Each chain of a bike is different like a fingerprint? Again, maybe it's one of those just write something stupid. I would buy it. And you did... Ice Tube and his guys want to go after him and then Ice Tube realizes something's wrong and they all team up on Matt Schultz and his guys. And like I said, the bike stunt work for the most part is fairly good and some of the CGI is goofy. And like the end, it's very goofy because there's literally a supercharger bike scene, heavily CGI. But maybe because I watched it in the vein of a Fast and Furious parody that I just laughed at that scene of how ridiculously stupid it looks. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I saw in the in the the mindset that maybe the director wanted, or maybe the director's full of shit. And I've just seen so many bad movies, or even I mean, when I look at Fast and Furious. I hate to say it, I have more crazy fun with this than Hobbs and Shaw, and I didn't hate Hobbs and Shaw, but this was a bit, the action was better in this movie compared to Hobbs and Shaw, and like Hobbs and Shaw, I, yeah, I didn't mind, but this, I, I maybe because I'm just, even though I've liked a lot of Fast and Furious, even I'm getting sick and fucking tired of Fast and Furious movies. And I don't need to see a part nine and 10 and whatever. I don't, I don't. They're doing nine. They're going to do 10. Well, they were going to release nine. They'll release it next year or whatever. They'll do 10. I'm even, I'm getting tired of it. So then going back and watching a movie that's taking the piss on that <laughs> franchise. It was kind of entertaining and fun. Again, I like the visuals. I like the action. It was colorful. I don't mind Ice Cube if it's utilized the right way, whether it be an Anaconda, whether it be in Friday, Boys in the Hood. Ice Cube can be utilized well, but then sometimes you get Are We There Yet? Or Fist Fight, more like Fist Fucked. Ghost of Mars. Actually, Ice Tube did a good job in that. 
Although I still would have preferred Jason Statham being the star, like originally was going to be. He was going to be the star of that John Carpenter movie, but then Ice Cube got it, and then Jason Statham was in the back supporting character. In the end, you get some crazy stuff. I mean, Ice Cube is able to hang a guy by using his fucking motorcycle and a chain. The, the Mountain Dew girl and the the Pepsi girl fight with motorcycles. It becomes almost a, almost a martial arts scene with fucking motorcycles. Uh, again, my only... as It's a dumb movie. I, I looked... I looked at... I, I thought it was a pretty fun parody of Fast and Furious. Watch it again. Just the lead guy. He's fine. He's all right. But there, I think there's other actors who could have gone for it. Yes, maybe even some name actors. I mean, hell. Who, well, who would actually do it, of course? That's the other thing. That's what you take into... I mean, I like this more than fucking Biker Boys. Biker Boys was just fucking boring. Whether you like or dislike the film, I didn't think this film was boring. It was fairly fast-paced. And it is very... Maybe to this thing, it was the shiny tease tearing me throughout the movie. So, uh, yeah, let me just state once again, maybe the director's full of shit when he's like, an interview is going, I wanted to do a piss tape version, uh, you know, Evil Dead 2, you know, kind of doing a piss take on horror films. I want to do that. I'm like, well, this isn't as good as Evil Dead 2, not by a 100 mile shot. But that's not really what the director was saying. He was saying as an example of, you know, these car vehicle movies. If you want to see a movie make fun of fast, I mean, the fact that they actually make fun of the line, I live my quarter life at a time. They make fun of people that, you know, are hard, Octane with their cars. The fact that they take motorcycles, they do just as extraordinary to the tenth level, which sadly they would do in Fast and Furious, but I don't think they th actually think they're making parodies. And I, don't, I, I think this guy was. I really do believe the guy. Watch it again. What I get to see with the guy, the cop puts a giant fucking T. <laughs> I mean. There were moments of this that I was fucking laughing. And I do think it was on purpose. Maybe I'm wrong and it's a so bad as good movie. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I'm the only guy that's going to have this take on it. So be it. But it, yeah, it's a pretty damn... Uh, it was not boring. It was entertaining. Like I said, I just... Ice Cube did fine in the role. The other actors, Jay Hernandez, Matt Schultz, they did fine as well. They did a good job as well. Like I, the lead guy, I, did, I would have picked someone else. Rather it be Corbin, Thomas Jane. Well, Thomas Jane was doing The Punisher, so I'd rather have him do Punisher. I'm sure there's other actors. I just can't think of them off the top. Tiana Reeves would have been cool. I keep thinking of Tiana Reeves. Like, Tiana Reeves would have fit her really well. Especially in the... I mean, it's funny. They want Tiana Reeves in a Fast and Furious movie. I mean, imagine him being the lead in this parody of Fast and Furious. I, I think that would have brought home uh, the, the point even more so. With that said, thanks for watching. Take care. And we will see you in another video later.